So, um, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little above and beyond this problem. What this problem is asking us to do is write the equation in standard form, identify the vertex, axis, symmetry, the direction of opening. I'm going to go a little bit farther to also include the directrix and the focus, all right, um, and the lattice rectum, just so we can make sure we remember all that information. Because just knowing the axis symmetry, that's some stuff we've already kind of covered, but we want to make sure we know all this new information as well. So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we see that it's y equals. So we know to write this in our form that we've been talking about, right? We need to um, have this into the y uh, when it's the x squared form, right? Alex, do you have this? This is your homework problem, number two. All right. So the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to first do is write this as a squared term. So if we notice and remember, when we're dealing with our squared term, the main important thing that we're going to have, all right, to write this in here, we have y um, equals x minus h squared plus k. I'm sorry, I forgot our a. Right? So we need to write it so it looks like that. Yes? Yeah. All right? Yeah. So we need to write this as a binomial squared. We need to have a binomial squared somewhere. So I'm going to have to use the process of completing the square. So the first thing I have to do to complete the square, remember you can't have the 2 there. So we have y equals, factor out the 2, x squared minus 6x plus 19. Now I use my binomial to create a perfect square trinomial. To create a perfect square trinomial, I need to take my middle term, which is b, divide it by 2, and then square it, which gives me a positive 9. So now I say y equals 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 19. But since I added 9 on this side, I need to subtract 9 on this side. But remember, I didn't just add 9. I added a 9 that's being multiplied by 2. So I just need to subtract a 9 that's being multiplied by a 2. Now I simplify my work and saying y equals 2 times. Now I factor this so it's a binomial squared. Um, that becomes negative 18, so it's plus 1. Okay. Now I look at this problem and I determine what is my, my a and my h and my k. Remember, your vertex is h comma k. So you look at this problem and you say, all right, what is my h comma k? Well, my h is positive 3, and my k is 1. Yes? OK. Then we determine the opening. And remember, the opening, if a is greater than 0, it opens up. And if a is less than 0, it opens down. So in this case, we have 2. And 2 is greater than 0. So therefore, my graph opens up. up. All right. Then it says the axis of symmetry. Now, since my graph opens up, we know that my axis of symmetry is going to be a vertical line. So that vertical line has to go through the vertex, correct? So therefore, since it's a vertical line and it goes through my vertex, I know that my axis of symmetry All right, so remember, so my graph looks like this. It opens up, and it has a, horde, a vertical axis symmetry. So therefore, it goes through the h coordinate of my um, vertex. So we could say x equals h. Well, my h in my vertex is 3. So therefore, my axis symmetry, x equals 3. Okay. So now that I've determined fairly what my graph looks like, I know it's not exactly that. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, there's two different points on this, right? We've now talked about a focus and a directrix. So we talked about the distance from the focus to the directrix was what? What was that distance? Anybody remember? The distance from the focus to the directrix. 1 divided by 4a. Yes? So. If I want to find the focus, remember we're adding the focus to what coordinate? Since it's going up, we're adding it to what, what point of our h comma k? We're adding it to our what? H. Well, if I add it to the h, it's going to go left or right. 
So I want to add it to the k, which will shift it up and down. So our focus, all right, this is what we call a vertical. When we have a horizontal asymmetry, which is vertical, our focus is going to be h comma k plus 1 over 4a. Well, we know 1 over 4a, our a is 2. equals 1 over 8, right? So we say 1 plus 1 eighth, right? 1 plus 1 eighth, which would be 9 eighths. Yeah. So our focus is going to be h comma 9 eighths. I'm sorry, not h. So, uh, our h is 3. So that's going to be our focus. Our directrix, well, if we're adding 1 eighth to get to our focus, that means, that means we have to do what to get to our directrix? Subtract 1 eighth. So then we just take 1 minus 1 eighth, which will be 7 eighths. But remember, our directrix is a line. It's not a point. And it's also a horizontal line, right? So if our vertical line was vertical, we said it was x equals, then our directrix is horizontal. So therefore, it has to be y equals. So y equals k minus 1 over 4a. We determined y equals 1 divided by 4a was 1 eighth. So our directrix is y equals 7 eighths. All right? And just to help you guys out with our information, we also talked about the lattice rectum, which was our perpendicular line to the axis of symmetry that goes through our focus and connects two points on the, um, two points on the parabola. And we said the distance of the lattice rectum was how far? Anybody? Absolute value of 1 over a. 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 So therefore, our lattice rectum is going to be, the distance of our lattice rectum is going to be 1 half. OK? Ta-da. There we go.